Hi everybody, it's Miss Dupree. In this lesson, we're going to continue learning about tectonic plates. In our first video, we reviewed the fact that the tectonic plates, which are floating on top of the asthenosphere, are constantly moving. It's very slow movement, but it's enough to cause big changes on Earth's surface. We also talked about the fact that most geologic activity, like earthquakes and volcanoes and mountains, happen at the edge of plates because this is where two or more plates come into contact. And the edges are called plate boundaries and there are three main types. We already talked about convergent boundaries in the last video and in this video we'll look at the other two, divergent boundaries and transform boundaries. So let's talk about divergent boundaries. And to remember this, I like to think about the movie Divergent because the people in the movie are divided apart into the different factions. In a divergent boundary, the plates are moving apart. They're separating. So plates can diverge underwater. Two oceanic plates can diverge underwater. Or plates can also diverge on land. So underwater, as the plates pull apart, magma under the plates can squeeze up through the cracks. And it cools really quickly because the, the water is very cold. So it cools quickly and it becomes new rock on the ocean floor. You can see it here happening. See how quickly it cools down and turns into new rock there on the ocean floor. So as the plates continue to diverge and spread apart, and more and more magma comes up, the ocean floor is actually going to spread out and get bigger. The ocean's going to grow. And then as the magma cools and forms new rock, it gets bigger and forms what's called a mid-ocean ridge. A mid-ocean ridge is an underwater line of mountains that gets formed by this growing new rock that's being formed by this divergent boundary. And a great example of a mid-ocean ridge is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is formed, it actually got f activity from four plates going on here. We've got the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate that are moving apart in the north part of the Atlantic Ocean. And then in the south part, you've got the South American Plate and the African plate that are also moving apart. And this has created what is actually the longest mountain chain in the world. It's an underwater mountain range. This is, this is in the ocean where mountains have formed. And there are also some islands along this mid-Atlantic ridge and that's where the growing crust has grown up tall enough, quickly enough to rise above the ocean surface. So let's look at that. Iceland is an island in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So if you look here, part of Iceland is in the North American plate and part of Iceland is on the Eurasian plate. And those plates are pulling apart. They're going in opposite directions. They're divergent. And so they're creating what's called a rift valley. Rift valleys are formed when plates diverge on land instead of underwater. And as these plates continue to move apart, this rift valley that you see right here, it's going to just keep getting wider and wider. And Iceland actually ends up getting a little bit bigger because it's moving apart and there's new rock coming here. So because of its location right there on top of a plate boundary, Iceland is one of the most geologically active places on the planet. It has more volcanic eruptions than anywhere on earth and it also has a lot of earthquakes. Okay, that's it for divergent boundaries. 
The final type of boundary that I want to talk about is called a transform boundary. In this type of boundary, the plates are sliding past each other in opposite direction. An example of this is the San Andreas Fault in California. And the San Andreas Fault line, which is visible from the ground, is the line where two plates are sliding past each other. So here we've got the Pacific plate and it's moving in a northwest direction. So it's moving this way. And then it's, you've got the North American plate here and it's moving in this direction. So as these plates are moving, they're sliding past each other. And then as they move, sometimes they get stuck. And then while they're stuck, they're, they're not able to move, but they're still pushing, pushing, pushing. So the energy from that pushing just builds and builds and builds. And then all of a sudden, those plates come unstuck and they slip and they move in this fast, violent motion. And that causes earthquakes. So the San Andreas Fault, which is the result of a transform boundary, is the reason California is famous for having so many earthquakes. Okay, that's it for a transform boundary. So in summary, here's a way to help you remember the three different types of plate boundaries. It's a little, it's a little poem. We have convergent collide, divergent divide, transform slide. That's just a little poem to help you remember that convergent collide, they're coming together. Divergent divide, they're spreading apart. Transform slide, they're moving past in opposite directions. So that's it for your introduction to plate boundaries. If you have any questions about the three types of boundaries, please ask. Otherwise, you're all set. Good job, everybody. See you next time.